Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a full set of acrylic nails. So I did a soak off on her nails right before we started. So that's why her nails look like that. But I just went in and pushed back the cuticles and then next I'm going in with my 180 sanding band to remove the shine from the natural nail. So of course going from the right side all the way over to the left side and just making sure that as you're following the nail that you're being super gentle. We're just literally going in to remove the shine. We don't want to thin down the nail. And then of course as you're doing it you also want to be gentle because you don't want to put too much pressure on the nail because it will cause friction and it will cause your client's nail to burn and it's not a good feeling so make sure that you're careful and during this step i am also using the melody susie canon e-file i'll be sure to leave the link and a promo code down below for you guys so um again as you guys can see i work my way all the way around that cuticle area and then just following the rest of the nail and then if you guys can tell i am holding or i position my pinky on the side of my client's finger that way i have some stability as i'm filing and my e-file is not just all over the place i have full control over it the entire time Alrighty, so up next we just dust the nails off and then now I'm going to be applying the nail tips and these are my 3XL square nail tips which are absolutely flawless and I am using the KDS glue to apply them and just remember that whenever you're applying your nail tips you want them to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall so you don't want them to be too big or too small because you will get breakage or lifting so y'all when I say that is super important I've seen where people apply the tips way too big and you can literally see the nail hanging off the side of their finger and like literally as soon as any water just any type of moisture gets under there it's going to cause the nail to come off and same thing if you know the nail is too small it's going to want to lift up and so eventually it's just going to come off but now we're just going in and trimming down the nails we're going to cut them like halfway she wants like a medium like a medium length so not too short not too long um we're going to do that on both hands and of course measuring both hands to make sure they're all the right length after that, since I'm not going to be shaping them up right now because they're already that coffin, or not coffin, but square shape, I'm just going in with my same 180 sanding band and I'm just blending that nail tip right in the middle. Usually I would do this with my regular, like with my hand file, um, and I would do that when I'm shaping the nail, but I just went ahead and skipped that and I just grabbed my e-file. So whatever works for you best is completely fine whether you use your e-file or your hand file. And then after this, we're going to be applying the primer and I am using the JC Beauty Concepts primer and I'm just applying that on the natural nail only, making sure that you get it on there really good because this is what's going to help prevent your lifting. So again, just applying it on the natural nail only. And then after that, we're going to be applying our acrylic. So for my acrylic, I am using my Pretty in Pink acrylic which is available on my website. And then for my monomer, I am using the JC Beauty Concepts monomer. And as always, I try to stick to my four ball method. So placing my first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet, placing my second bead right below that first one, and very gently brushing it down towards the tip. And as you're doing this, y'all, it's literally almost like a feathering motion. 
you want to make sure that you brush super gently because if not you are going to brush that product off the nail and you're going to have to keep going back in to basically build your nail so the third bead that i place is closer to the cuticle area and again y'all when you're brushing you want to make sure that you brush super gentle because if not if i were to brush that that bead really hard it like most of my thickness would have been at the tip and so since i want my thickness to stay right here where i'm placing my bead i just pat it down and then blend it to the bottom and that way it just gives us that um apex that we want so the, another reason really why i like this four ball method is because the way that i work my way up the nail it's like it just naturally gives us that apex and thickness at the tip and so once we have that four balls those four balls down it's like our nail has the perfect structure and our foundation is and that's what you want so thickness at the tip and then of course your thickness at the apex and that's what's gonna uh, uh basically allow your nails to not break i think i said that right okay i hope i did but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the rest of the nails so again y'all i'm doing the four ball method first bead right in the middle second bead right below that first one and then third one closer to the cuticle area fourth one also close to the cuticle area and then remember to brush very gently make sure that you wipe your brush off a lot as you're working and only work with the amount of product that you can control don't try to go in there with a big bead and then you're struggling to keep it on the nail and then it starts running on the skin and all that stuff so just work with the amount of product that you can control that's also another thing that's super super important uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys watch and i'll be back
And of course, y'all, I just want to take the time out to thank my man, y'all. Look at these angles. Like, as I'm editing this video, like, I'm just like, oh my god. Like, they're going to love this because you're able to see every angle of the nail. And you can see the apex, the thickness at the tip, like everything, y'all. Look at how flawless this set is. And again, that is my Pretty in Pink acrylic, which is available on my website. But anyways, now we're going to go on to the shaping. So, of course, our, na our nails are already that coffin. Why well, I keep saying coffin, y'all? I'm so used to doing coffin nails. Not a lot of people get square nails anymore. But we're going in and following the nail or shaping the nail. And so it's already that square shape. So we're just going in and redefining that shape. And y'all, look at that angle. Like... I love that you're able to like really see the way that I'm holding my file because I always tell y'all 90 degree angle on the side and the fridge but right here you're really able to see me hold it at that 90 degree angle especially right here y'all when I say I'm over here like snapping my fingers like that's how excited I am but see how I'm holding my file exactly at that 90 degree angle against the nail and that's what's going to give you that perfect 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 shape um so remember y'all always make sure that you're paying attention to the way that you're holding your e-file because that's what's going to make or break your shape and as you're doing it make sure that you're watching your nail shape change um that way you know okay like my shape is good i can move on to the next nail or okay now i need to file a little bit more on this side or whatever but make sure that you pay really close attention because i always say that your shape literally will make or break your set like if i'm scrolling through instagram and the nails look good but the shape is like eh, most likely i'm just gonna keep scrolling but if like sometimes even just when the shape is like bomb like people are really gonna like your work because a lot of the time people like struggle with shaping and i know it takes a little bit to get it packed down or get it you know to your liking but you just have to like i said it's all about the way that you hold your e-file i mean your hand file yeah i'm just all over the place today but the way that you're holding your file Okay, so now we're going to go in with the e-file and starting around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side. And this is my extra fine tapered drill bit, which is absolutely perfect for filing around the cuticle area. And so uh, as always, going around that cuticle area, getting as close as you can to the cuticle and just filing all the way around and then filing the rest of the nail. Now, my nails already are nice and smooth, um, so I don't have any bumps and lumps, but I still like to go in and just file the rest of the nail anyways to make sure that everything is just still like nice and even. So uh, same thing for all of them. And then also remember that as you're doing this, try the little pinky thing that I told you guys. So positioning your pinky on the side of your client's finger and that's going to give you some stability that way you have full control over your e-file but y'all like i'm just so like amazed look at how perfect they look like they just look so good especially around the cuticle area and the whole acrylic application was just flawless the acrylic went on really good like y'all i am in love with this suit but anyways uh, i'm just going to continue to do the same thing on all of them and then I'm gonna let you guys enjoy these bomb angles and the close-ups and uh, just I hope y'all enjoy
Alrighty y'all, so up next we're going in with the buffer and we're just going in and just buffing all of the nails really good. And this is going to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those babies really, really good. Alrighty y'all, so after I finish buffing the nails, I just turn my client's hand over and I just file them very quickly again. And this is just to perfect the shape. Sometimes I feel like after buffing the nail that it kind of may round the corners off just a tiny bit. And so to get that perfect shape, just go in one last time and just very quickly um, shape them up a little bit to get that perfect shape. So after that, I just dust the nails off and then wiping them off with an alcohol wipe. And this is what the nails look like after the entire acrylic application and next we're going to go in with the polish this is in the color valet slippers by dnd um, and we're just going to be doing like a really deep french tip and i i know a lot of the time people ask me like what's an affordable gel polish company that i recommend and i do have a few dnd gel polishes but y'all like especially this gel polish gave me a hard time like the color was pretty um sheared so i obviously had to make sure that i did two coats but not even just that like i don't mind doing two coats but it's like it was little bubbles in the polish and so i kept having to like go over it to try to get rid of the little bubbles and like i shook the polish up really good make sure that it was you know well mixed and everything and it was still doing it so um i know i've said this before in other videos like with dnd polishes like it's a hit and miss like yes you're affordable but they're definitely a hit and miss like i have some polishes that are absolutely perfect i have others like this one that's way too like runny because i think that's what it was it was too liquidy and then i have some that are way too thick and so it's just it's literally a hit and miss but they do have a good range of colors um so if you're interested um i usually get them from my local nail supply store but um there was a website that i ordered the, actually this was from amazon my this actual client she asked for this color a while back and i i forgot all about it and so i took it out and she like it was in her notes from like a year ago y'all that she wanted this color and so she was excited to finally get it but anyways we're just going to be doing a deep french tip on all of the nails and then we're not going to be doing anything else other than just a gel top coat
Alrighty, so now I'm just going in with my Apray Gel Top Coat and applying that on all of the nails and then curing for 60 seconds. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look and y'all they turned out absolutely beautiful. It's definitely giving bougie vibes. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getnow32 and I will see you guys next time.